Hello, my name is Kelly Workington, and I'm a plumbing instructor at the Red Deer School of Trades and Technologies, and I am the Mathematic Plumber. And today, I'm going to show you how to convert a measurement that contains feet, inches, and fractions of an inch into decimal feet or into decimal inches. So this video is the full version. I've also broken this video up into shorter parts called conversion quickies. To find these videos, just visit my webpage. No matter what trade you're in, you're going to need to know how to do this conversion in order to complete the schooling for your apprenticeship program. The most common place that we're going to see decimal feet and decimal inches is when we're doing elevation change calculations, typically while using a surveyor's level and target rod. However, we also might see decimal inches or decimal feet being used when we have to do more complex calculations in the field. For example, I have a pipe that is 7 foot 3 and 11 sixteenths of an inch long. I need to cut this pipe into 5 equal lengths. Well, I can't just look at my tape measure and figure this one out. And unless I'm a genius, I'm not going to be able to think about it in my head and easily figure this one out. So now we have to understand how to break this down into feet and decimal feet so we can apply a calculation. The purpose of this video is to show you how to do this conversion. However, this video will not show you how to take feet and decimal feet and convert them back into feet, inches, and fractions of an inch. That will be covered in a future video. Now this video assumes that you know how to read an imperial tape measure. We will also be using engineers or decimal tape measures just to illustrate what's going on with this video. If you don't know how to read either of these types of tape measures, well I have a couple videos on my homepage that will show you how to do that. When doing imperial measurements, it's very, very important to note the increments. Inches can be noted by these two increments. Feet can be noted by these two increments. Be sure not to mix them up. That will give you trouble and it will give you the wrong answer. The other thing to always remember is there is 12 inches in one foot. Well, it's time to get on to some actual conversion examples. We're going to start easy and then work our way up to harder and harder questions. I'm always going to give you an opportunity after I do one example to do a similar example all by yourself. Now I've created a spreadsheet to help us do this conversion. If you'd like to use this spreadsheet, go down into the description and there's a download link there. For the first example, I'm going to take inches and fractions of an inch and turn it into inches and decimal inches. So example one, two and three quarter inches. Let's turn this into inches and decimal inches. First, let's start by separating out our two numbers on a piece of paper. I'm gonna write down the whole inches in one area and the fractions of an inch in another area. We need to keep them separate because they're two different types of numbers. Now I wanna focus on the smallest number, which will be the fraction. Now to convert a fraction into a decimal is quite easy. You take whatever's on the top of the fraction, which is 3, and divide it by whatever's on the bottom, which is 4. 3 divided by 4 equals 0.75 inches, or 0 0.75 inches. The next step, really easy. I have two whole inches. I'm going to add it to my decimal inches, 0.75. So I have 2.75 inches. And that's it. I'm done. Now let's look at our tape measures to see if this lines up. So our first measurement was two and three quarter inches. Let's look at our regular tape measure. Okay, there it is. Now let's draw a line through down to our engineer's tape measure that has decimal inches on it. And look at that. We're at 2.75 inches on that decimal tape measure. All right, now it's your turn. So we have five and three eighths inches. It's your job to go and convert this to inches and decimal inches. So please pause the video and complete the calculation. So because organization is the key here, we're gonna write down our inches and our fractions of an inch separately on a piece of paper because we deal with them differently. Let's start by taking our fraction of an inch and turning it into decimal inches. Now remember, to convert a fraction into decimal inches, we need to take the top number, which is 3, and divide it by the bottom number, which is 8. 3 divided by 8 equals 0 0.375 inches. 
The next step is fairly easy. We just take our whole inches and add it to our decimal inches. And we should get 5.375 inches. And that's our answer. Now let's take a look at our tape measures to see if our answer is correct or not. So let's go make a line from 5 and 3 eighths inches on a regular tape measure down through our engineer's tape measure. This will be the one with the decimal inches. So we'll need to look pretty closely, maybe even pause the video to see this, but the line will pass through 5.375 inches on the engineer's tape measure. For our next example, we're going to take whole feet and whole inches and convert them into feet and decimal feet. So this example will be 9 foot 5 inches. 9 foot 5 inches? That should be easy. Won't that equal 9.5 feet? Well, let's remember that there's 12 inches in each foot. So I actually need to do something a little bit different than what we're thinking here. So let's separate things out on a piece of paper. Write down 9 foot and 5 inches. Keep them separate because we deal with them differently. We're going to start with the smaller number first, 5 inches. To convert inches into feet, we need to divide by 12 inches per foot. So 5 divided by 12 equals 0 0.4 one six 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 it's a six that repeats forever but let's just round that off to 0 0.417 feet now much like the last example we take our whole feet and add it to our decimal feet 9 plus 0 0.417 feet equals 9.417 feet so once again let's bring out our tape measures to check our answer on a regular tape measure Let's draw a line down from 9 foot 5 inches, and we're going to pass it through our engineer's tape measure. This will be the one with the feet and decimal feet. Now you'll definitely need to pause the video to actually see this, but if you look close, you should be able to see that we're actually passing through 9.417 feet on the engineer's tape measure. And now it's your turn. So our measurement is 6 foot 9 inches. I want to know how many feet and decimal feet we have. Please pause the video and give it a try. So let's take out our piece of paper and write down in separate areas 6 foot and 9 inches because we deal with them differently. Let's start with the 9 inches. Let's convert it to decimal feet. To do that we need to take 9 inches and divide it by 12 inches per foot. And that gives us 0 0.75 feet. Now we're just going to take our whole feet and add it to our decimal feet. And that should give us 6.75 feet. Moving along, we're going to take our tape measures and we're going to check our answer. So on our regular tape measure, I'm going to make a, a line down from 6 foot 9 inches. I'm going to draw that right through my engineer's tape measure. That's the one with the decimal feet. And we should be able to see 6.75 feet on the decimal tape measure. Once again, we may need to pause the video to actually see that. Now for this next example, we're going to do a variation of what we just did, except for this is actually a little easier. We're just going to take a bunch of inches and convert it into feet and decimal feet. So my first example will be 101 inches. Let's convert this to feet and decimal feet. This is easy. There's only one step. I need to take 101 inches and divide it by 12 inches per foot. I should get an answer like 8.417 feet. All right, let's check this measurement against our tape measures. And now we're off to your turn. I've got a measurement of 79 inches. So please pause the video and convert this into feet and decimal feet. Well, I love these ones. They're nice and easy. The only thing we need to do just like the last one, is take 79 inches and divide it by 12 inches per foot. And we should get a number like 6.583 feet. So let's bring out our tape measure one more time here. Well, now let's move on to a slightly more difficult example. I'm going to have inches and fractions of an inch. And I'm going to want to convert this into feet and decimal feet. So our first example will be 33 and 5 eighths inches. So once again, 
we're going to take our inches and our fractions of an inch and write them separately on a piece of paper. Now let's start with the fractions of an inch. We need to convert this into decimal inches. In order to do that, I need to take the top number, 5, and divide it by the bottom number, 8. When I put that through my calculator, I should get 0 0.625 inches. Next, I need to add my whole inches to my decimal inches. So 33 plus 0 0.625 inches equals 33.625 inches. Great. One more step. Let's bring this into feet. So I'm just going to take that whole number and divide it by 12 inches per foot, and I should get my answer. So 33.625 inches divided by 12 inches per foot equals 2.802 feet. Let's use our tape measures to check our answer. And now your turn. So I have a measurement of 55 and 9 sixteenths inches. Please pause the video and convert this to feet and decimal feet. All right, by now you should know what to do. Take your inches and fractions of an inch and write them separately on a piece of paper because we're going to deal with them differently. Let's start with our fractions of an inch. We have 9 sixteenths. Let's convert this into decimal inches. To do this, we take the top, 9, and divide it by the bottom number, 16. 9 divided by 16 equals 0 0.5625 inches. Now let's take that and add that to our whole inches, 55. So 55 plus 0 0.5625 inches equals 55.5625 inches. Now our final step. Let's take that number and divide it by 12 inches per foot to bring it into feet and decimal feet. So 55.5625 inches divided by 12 inches per foot equals 4.63 feet. And once again, let's look at our tape measures. Finally, we've come across our last variation. This is where we take feet, inches, and fractions of an inch, and convert all those numbers into feet and decimal feet. Now fortunately we've covered this whole process already, all the little bits and pieces of it, but now we need to do it all together. In this example we're going to have 4 foot 10 and 7 eighths of an inch. We need to convert this to feet and decimal feet. So let's write out our feet, inches, and fractions of an inch separately on the piece of paper. Let's start with our fraction of an inch. We need to take 7 eighths of an inch and convert that into decimal inches. To do that, we take the top number, 7, divided by 8, the bottom number. This will give us 0 0.875 inches. Now we need to take our whole inches and add it to our decimal inches. So 10 plus 0 0.875 inches equals 10.875 inches. Now we need to convert these inches and decimal inches back into feet. So I need to take 10.875 inches and divide it by 12 inches per foot. This will give me 0 0.906 feet. Finally, I need to take my decimal feet and add it to my whole feet. So I should get 4.906 feet. Well, let's bring out our tape measures to check our answer. And now finally the last example. It's your turn. I have a measurement of 7 foot 2 and 1 16th of an inch. Please pause the video and convert this into feet and decimal feet. So on our spare piece of paper we're going to want to separate our feet, inches, and fractions of an inch like we've been doing the whole time. Once again we're going to start with the fraction of an inch. We need to convert 1 16th of an inch into a decimal inch. To do this, I take the top number, 1, and divide it by the bottom number, 16. And I should get a number like this, 0 0.0625 inches. Now I need to take that number and add it to my whole inches, which is 2. 
and I should get 2.0625 inches. Now I need to convert those inches into feet. So I'm going to take 2.0625 inches and divide it by 12 inches per foot. Now I'm going to get a pretty small number here with a lot of decimal places behind it. So that should give you 0 0.171875 feet. Now I'm going to take that number and add it on to my whole feet, which is 7. So 7 plus that number should give me 7.172 feet if I round it off. All right, let's check this answer against our tape measures. Let's do some review. So remember, it's always good to keep your different units separate from one another. By that I mean write out your feet, your inches, and your fractions of an inch separately because we do the math on each one of those things differently. We always start with the fraction. To convert a fraction into decimal inches, we need to take the top number of the fraction divided by the bottom number. Then we need to take that decimal inches and add it to our whole inches. Once we've done that, we need to take that number and divide it by 12 inches per foot to bring it into feet and decimal feet. And finally, if we have any feet left over to add on, we need to add our whole feet onto that number and then we will have feet and decimal feet. As we saw, there's different variations, so we need to pay attention to what's going on. Some people will get this right away, and other people will really struggle with this. That's okay. Just remember, there's only one way to get comfortable with this, and that's to do it over and over and over again. In the description below, I've left a link for a really handy online conversion calculator you can enter in feet, inches, and fractions of an inch, and it'll convert it to feet and decimal feet for you. So what I recommend for those who want the extra practice is to write out a bunch of random measurements, and then go and convert them. After that, go to the online tool and check your answers. Well, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to hit the like button or subscribe before you leave. And if you have any suggestions about a video I can do in the future, Please leave that idea in the comment section below.